What's up YouTube? It's me Shane back with a, another life update here. Sorry I had to restart my my video. I'm stupid. I'm filming on my phone and never thought to put it on like do not disturb and I, I got like three phone calls and then I realized it wasn't recording anymore. I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah I just went I rode my bike for a couple miles at uh, Pocahontas State Park and just wanted to check in with you guys and kind of keep you updated on some things um it's really been kind of kicking my butt i've been trying to get into better shape because those of you that know me know that i love being outside and and whatnot and it's just been hard with uh just you know the challenges of being an amputee and trying to like relearn things or learn how to do things in a different way um which has really taught me a lot um I've been applying for a lot of places for a scholarship for a running blade, which those of you that don't know, a running blade is, it has a little bit of a longer length to it uh, than a traditional walking leg. It, it gives you more like running trajectory. It allows you to get a better stride. Um, and like I have, I have my leg, which is more of an active leg. However, it's not really meant for running, which sounds kind of, I guess, odd. Uh, most people wouldn't really think of it, but, uh, you know, a, a running blade is purely meant just for running. And sadly, in the insurance world, it's an accessory. It's not, it's not something that you need to live, um, which kind of blows my mind because, you know, I lost my leg in 2020 in September, like prime, like beginning of COVID and world shuts down you can't do anything you're, you're going crazy i spent about six months in a wheelchair and that like your feet can't touch the ground uh really gets to you there'd be days when i would just you know go out and w like wheel my shelf wheel myself to the front little porch and just sit outside and get some fresh air because that's something i love the most um and over the time like i, I had my my first my first prosthetic leg that was a little bit active and then i got a uh second leg which was a little bit more active um but it, it's not just meant for for one thing it's it's like a multi-purpose thing and it you know it stinks because if you end up damaging the the one primary leg like you're you're stranded you're not going to be able to do anything for for quite some time which is very unfortunate um it puts you into a predicament of deciding what's important with with life really you know like do you want to live on the safe side or do you want to go out and be adventurous and do things and i would like to say that i'm adventurous but at the same time you know being told to, to sit and not do anything really messes with your mind and your brain. Um, I've gotten two blisters over the, the span of about two and a half years now, um, which sucks because you can't really wear your leg. You're, you're in a position where you, you need to take your leg off and let it heal. Um, and it, it, in a perfect world, you know, be off your leg for a couple of days but we don't live in a perfect world and life is expensive and you've got your overhead you've got your car you've got the kids food groceries work and it just stinks sometimes you're really in a situation where you have to do things um which you know puts you into predicament but i uh i guess getting back on topic i applied to a couple scholarships for a running blade uh, one turned me down. They said that I didn't quite fit the age criteria. I'm 33 years old. I think I'm a young, energetic person. Um, so, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I I went into it not really thinking that I'm going to get something. The first time I try, you know, like, there are a lot of amputees. There are a lot of people that are more athletic than me, that are healthier than me, that really deserve things. Um... And my, my prosthetic guy, 
he told me about Challenge a Athletes Foundation, um, which I, you know, I went on their website and it's it's a huge program all across the United States, really. And I I applied, man, probably a year and a half ago, and uh, honestly, I I I forgot that I even applied for it. Um, in my head, I was like, well, you know, maybe one day I'll get something. Who knows? And uh, lo and behold, man, I'm on vacation this past April. It's June right now, so literally a couple months ago. And I get an email from them stating, like, congratulations, you know, like, you've been accepted for this grant. And I was like, no way, like, th this is not real. I sent it to my processist, and he was like, yeah, man, I, th I think that's legitimate. And... It took a little bit, but we finally got the acceptance letter. Um, he went ahead and ordered my running blade. Um, and it should be here in, a, in about a week, maybe less. So let me know if you guys want to, you know, see the journey of that. I, I, I need to go in and get fitted for it. We need to make sure it fits well. Um, you know, it's crazy. I haven't, I haven't ran in about four years. I haven't truly ran. Um, and it's gonna really take some getting used to uh, but like setting goals, small, tiny goals, just saying like, you know, a couple steps at a time turns into a couple, you know, a couple feet, a couple hundred feet, a mile, two miles, three miles, who knows? Um, like today I, I went out, I rode about 13 miles all in all and kicked my butt. I had to stop a couple times. Um, let some people pass me. I passed some people. Um, Really, it kind of it kind of teaches you to ride your own wave. If you're if you're great at something, don't don't let that limit you. Um, I I am not great at mountain biking. I'm not good at the endurance part. My lungs suck. I feel like I have the lung capacity of a two-year-old sometimes. Um, but to, today I, I did pretty well. I, I rode a lot. I did a lot of climbing, a lot of descending. I tried some new trails that I've never tried before. Um, but man, there's, there's a lot of people that would end up behind me and it's almost as if they feel guilty trying to pass me because they're like, oh man, this guy's an amputee and he, he's doing his best. I'm not going to pass him, but like, bro, lady, pass me. Do you ride your own wave? Um, you know, and when it gets to it, the point, if I pass you, like, let me pass you. It is what it is, you know? Uh, but it, it's very rewarding just being able to go out there and do well. Uh, have people, you know, say hi to me, uh, tell me to enjoy my ride and whatnot. It, it's funny because I, I never thought about living life differently. Um, and this has taught me tenfold how to live life differently. Um, looking at everyday objects, you know, my, my first prosthetic leg didn't really have a lot of give to it. It's not flexible. Um, so going over branches and sticks and twigs and rocks, it's like your, your leg wants to lock up and then it just kind of throws you into a forward movement where you're about to like barrel roll. Whereas now with my, with my leg, I have the, uh, sorry about that. Osser Cheetah Explorer. I love it. It is hands down the probably greatest leg I've ever had. I, I don't have much experience with it, but it's very flexible it allows me to do things that i couldn't do before previously um but it just kind of it blows my mind seeing people look at you um which you know growing up as a kid my mom always taught me you know like things can always be worse um not to like cry wolf if you're in a situation where you know you you have the the sucky hand uh you know things can always be worse take it for what it is and just keep pushing forward uh you're you're here another day on this earth keep keep moving forward keep trying to do better um and it just kind of blows my mind seeing people stare at me where it, it's not the people you would think it's not children it's adults and you see kids just walk right by you and they're like, hey, how you doing? Or they like wave at you and they're just friendly and nice and caring. And it's like they, they don't, they don't see, they don't see that you're different, which 
is perfect. You shouldn't ever treat someone as if they're different. And then you, you see adults where, you know, they're like, oh, let me get that door for you. Or, oh, let me bend over and grab this for you. It's like, let me, let me do it. I, I am able to do so. If I need help, I will ask, you know, and I get it. It's everyone's different, but it just kind of blows my mind seeing, you know, 30, 40, 50 year old people like stare at you and do like a double take of like, man, like this, why is this kid out here? What is he doing? Um, and you know, it's fair. If you ask questions, be polite about it. I'll, I'll give you answers all day long. I'll tell you about my journey. I have YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you to watch my videos because I have like <laughs> no subscribers, but, uh, man, just treat everyone the same. Treat them like they're not different because we're not, you know, it, it truly is a eye-opening experience, uh, being the other person, being treated as if I am disabled, uh, you know, it's like applying for a job application, you see the little box like disability, check yes or no, and I'm, I'm prideful, I, I will always check no, I, I don't care, I don't see myself as disabled, um, yeah, without my leg, I can't really walk around, but I'm gonna do it, you know, like nothing's gonna stop me, um, I don't know, it's just crazy to think about, but let me know below. I know I'm kind of ranting back and forth and all around. I'm, my brain is still trying to, to calm itself down. I need to get in better shape and get better sleep, eat healthier, you know, be on a good diet. Um, but feel free to comment below. I would love to get feedback on things and ways and examples that I could do things or show you my life experiences. Um, one of my m most viewed videos is what I do when I wake up, I think, which was like a 45 second TikTok. So it was like barely anything. But if you want more details about that kind of stuff, let me know. I'm more than happy. I want to kind of be more informative of the life of an amputee. Um, when I first found out I was going to lose my leg, I, I went straight to YouTube. I started YouTubing stuff and realized there's really no videos. There's a couple here and there, but everything seems to fall off. And I mean, I'm a horrible YouTuber. There's nothing that I should be doing because I might go six months between a video or like two weeks, but I'm trying to be better at that. Um, but let, let me know below if you would like to see the process and the journey of getting a running blade, uh, what it's like to get a prosthetic fitted to you and really like a third person view of my life of getting that starting the running process. I need to get better at either holding a camera or getting like a gimbal or something so that way i'll be able to show you guys better examples and angles of what it is i that, that that i do um but i'm gonna i just got home i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna drink some water calm down cool off y'all have a wonderful day and stay blessed and keep moving forward bye